Daryl, great to see you again. Yes, wonderful to see you. How many right? years has it been? Oh my God, way too long. Let's yeah. not tell them, otherwise they know how old we are and where the, where the gray Absolutely. hair comes from, right? Yeah. So, hey, we hear a lot about, obviously, AI everywhere, right? VRAN, ORAN, customers really, really excited about and want to hear what we're doing and what we're doing together. So, Wind River? What are you guys doing? Well, what are you hearing? We're, we're very focused on trying to monetize the RAM, not just for our own business benefit, but to help our customers leverage the benefits and lower their TCO for deploying different RAM configurations. In particular, we've been focused more recently on ORAM, and we, we recently announced a wonderful project with TELUS, right. um, which we're very excited about. And we're part of it. Yeah, absolutely. Intel's core part right. of it, literally, right. more than one word, exactly. the pun. Um, and essentially what we're really looking to do there is to extend what we've already done also together at Verizon that in order to help them deploy their next generation 5G based infrastructure. And as that relation, you mentioned AI, is that we're looking to work with all of our customers in this area to layer on AI based capabilities at the RAM so we don't have to transport all of the data back to the core data center. Right in order for them to be able to deliver new differentiated services, not just to lower the cost in the two series operations, right. but one of the services that you could see clients use. Right. Um, and the other thing that we're doing at Red River, because you know, our mother company is active, and they're in the automobile industry. So we're providing you know, complete car systems with a complete studio of applications and services and development tools that car manufacturers, OEMs, can actually use. So we're seeing how to connect car to the network in the RAN, as well as delivering differentiated value and services in the vehicle as an extension of your phone right. in that right. space. Right. And all that takes a lot of preparation. We're doing a lot there, pre-testing, pre-integration, making sure that it all runs with each other. So was there any any specifics that we should work more together on? What? Right? I, think, I think, you know, as you know, we're, we're, yeah, we used to be part of Intel. So That's right. Back That's early, right. As it were. And as such, yeah, focusing on performance and security yes. in particular is very important yes. in those applications yes. and services, yes. particularly at the edge. So it, you know, our heritage over 40 years, as you know, has really been focusing on delivering that on you know, Intel-based architectures. Right. Well, and as you talk about your new mother company, right, security, national security, very important for both of us, right? So there's a lot going on also on the supply chain side. That we both need to tell our customers, Absolutely. right? Yeah, See, supply chain isn't just you know receiving a piece of equipment; really, it's actually exactly. maintaining the complete end-to-end -end element exactly. of that supply chain. And you know, our heritage, uh, you know, at Wind River has also been heavily involved in aerospace and defense. So we deliver hard and system right. in that area. Right. So you know, we again, you know, we, we we work very closely with Intel and our tech yeah. groups to to be able to do that. Well, and all of our customers have the ESG goals, right? So yes. you know, sustainability and green is super important as well for yeah. them. Lowering the energy cost yeah. for them, right? Power reduction. Mm. Yeah. So it's, that's you know, both in software and enabling the hardware. So maintaining the P and C state of the uh, right. processes. Right. 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 But the other things that we're doing with Intel in terms of looking at other software elements to manage that end-to-end -end ecosystem uh, and securing as well as actually delivering sustainability benefits. Right. Uh, I want to actually see some interesting figures and data uh, come out with that, and, and I know you are as well. It's a very important topic for, for our telco. Right. Well, and that's all stuff we're already doing today. Ooh. What's the future for us going to be? Well, I think, you know, this is Daryl's opinion of the future. Oh. I think that we're going to see many devices connected to the network. I think we used to talk about that in the form of the IoT. Right. Um, but I think edge devices is slightly different because you're going to see intelligent edge about right. So layering AI, delivering value and applications of services is where we think we're going to derive value, not just for businesses, but for consumers of those services. So I think that's where the future lies. Excellent. Fantastic. And it's great working with you guys. I know it's lots more ahead of us. And I think we have a lot more to talk when we're either back here next year yep. or anywhere in between, right? Yeah, probably Thank soon. you so much. Appreciate it. Thank Take you. Care.